Welcome, my Piscean Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Welcome to your five card draw. What do I need read for this new moon to full moon? January 2022. I am your reader, Mark Angelo Lyons Mal for short. Professional witch, professional intuitive, president of Drawing the Circle Productions since 1998 author of words of grace from a professional witch available on kindle link in the description box now on patreon mm. <laughs> link in the description box the archangel of lions mark angelo lions but you can call me mal hey my fish family my mer people you ready <laughs> you ready happy new year uh actually doing this new year's day getting it out right before the new moon in Capricorn, but let's talk about some stuff. Uh, first, if you are new to the channel, a five card draw is just one card from five different decks, getting you clues, tips, and hints about a specific astrological timeline. So it's not a timeless, it is a timed read, right? Uh, and we'll talk about that specific timeline in a minute. These five decks also represent the five magical elements, fire, earth, air, water, and spirit. Uh, to help you shape your intentional work, your spell work, your manifestation work from a new moon to a full moon. Plant the seed at a uh, new moon. Oh, I just got a head bonky from one of my kitties. <laughs> one of my boys. Uh, plant the seed at new moon. Watch it grow, expand, manifest by full moon. Sort of get the idea. But as I said, it is a waxing moon. So let's look at that. The new moon in Capricorn. Uh, Sunday, January 2nd, 11.33 p.m. Eastern Time. I am in New York. Really good new moon for, like, a New Year's resolution and stuff like that. Capricorn, 10th house. Slow and steady wins the race. Uh, highest potential. 10th house is uh, kind of cool, right? Uh, and then, of course, we are looking at the two-week period to the full moon. Oh, and there is my kitty cat, Sabby. My, uh, sorry, Melchior, right? It's my, my, my little one. My little Taurus has come to visit us, in case you're wondering what that is next to me. Must be getting close to dinner time. Uh, as I was saying, the full moon in Cancer. Uh, Monday, January 17th, uh, 5.48 p.m. But it goes void, of course, at the same time it goes full. So keep that in mind. If you want to really hit the magical part of that particular full moon, you want to do it before uh, uh, 5.48 p.m. or you can wait until 11.02 p.m. <coughs> excuse me, when the moon goes in to Leo. So it is a general read. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Even if three out of these five cards resonates, that's what you get in a general read. So do check your other signs uh, to maybe fill in some blanks, get you more clues, tips, and hints about the specific timeline we're about to look at. Or perhaps another situation, because we all got more things uh, going on uh, than we know. <laughs> and kitty cats just having fun, running around, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> they're feeling, they're doing the bull dance, they're feeling the flow. Okay, so both feet on the floor if you can. Focus on your breath, if you will. I will do the same to get you the clarity, guidance, and grace that I can. Because uh, I'm a Pisces moon. <laughs> and a vibrational energy, intuitive empath, and it's tricky. So it's uh, it's good to know to have a little guidance and grace here and there. But remember, we all have free will. You do you. So let's do this. Uh, we're going to start with the element of fire with uh, the magical spell card by Lucy Cavendish. And uh, we'll take it from there. Please take a nice deep breath. reset <laughs> from exposition to divination as I call upon the ancestors of magic miracles and mysticism for the Piscean collective sun moon rising Venus signs watching this video receiving this reading what is the magical spell card the spell fragment to help them shape their element of fire what we yearn for, what we burn for, what our hearts desire this new to full January 20. Uh, 22, I don't think this one has come up this time. Let me just check. No, it certainly has not. Harvest. Now this is perfect for a waxing moon. This is, I think, the longest one in all of these cards. As the waves of the ocean are infinite, 
As the trees in the forest grow tall, let my work now bring me to harvest. I am ready to receive my all. This is going to make a nice little spell blessing at the end, so you might want to hang in there, because... What is it that you want to harvest? Like I said, you plant a seed at new, you harvest as you sow, so shall you reap. New to full. Could be anything, though. So what kind of work, right? Literal work, emotional work, romantic work, relationship work, healing work. Let's keep going. Uh, your element of earth, the fuel to feed the fire. We're going to be using the Crystal Oracle by uh, Tony Carmine Salerno. Whether you have the stone or not, for me, is a moot point. You can always grab a nice, chunky piece of clear quartz and program it with uh, the, the energies uh, indicated, but you do you. Please take a nice deep breath. It's nice to have a touchstone, too, like a piece of jewelry or something. A ca magical carrier is what I call it, something to carry the magic. Breathe. Hmm. As I call upon my beloved Archangel Ariel, uh, one of the Archangels of the North Powers of Earth, hence the Crystal Oracle. Please, what is the perfect Crystal Oracle, whether they have the stone or not, for the Piscean Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, watching this video, ooh, receiving this reading... Uh, yeah, what is their element of earth, the fuel to feed the fire to help them ground and manifest this heart's desire of harvest, this new to full? Ooh, carnelia. Now, I use this for sexual energy stone. It's very second chakra, money, relationship, creativity, uh, all of that. But, you know, you do you, and, and really it's how you interact uh, vibrationally with any stone. Uh, you can have a whole row full of carnelians. They're all going to interact a little bit differently. Your key words, healing, creativity, which is good for harvest, right? Energy, energy, calmness, grounding, and stability. So I like this a lot. Very second chakra, like grounded in the body, uh, but creative and uh, with a nice dose of healing. This wonderful crystal offers you protection and healing. It will help dissolve the sadness you have recently experienced, as well as calm your thoughts and ease your anxiety. Now, like I said, if you're a vibrational empath, which most water signs are, particularly I would say whatever your moon sign, if you have a water moon, chances are you're picking up on other people's emotions and energies all the time. But if you don't know that, you could take it all very personally, right? It's the energetic resonation. Um, so how lovely, right, uh, uh, to do that kind of healing over a waxing moon. Carnelian will also help you express your emotions and stimulate your creativity work. That's great. Uh, you are encouraged to take up a creative pursuit or hobby at this time. Start to express yourself in whatever way you choose. Without judgment, oh, kitties are getting into something. Be right back. Sorry about that. <laughs> My boys, when they want dinner, they want dinner. But they can wait a little bit longer. They don't understand clock time. They understand belly time. So just this last bit again. You're encouraged to take up a creative pursuit or hobby at this time. Start to express yourself in whatever way you choose without judgment. Which means, you know, a hobby. You don't have to, like, turn a profit for it, right? Uh, working with color will be especially helpful at this moment, for color can also help to stabilize and heal your emotions, which is true. Color therapy is just ancient. Uh, over the coming days, you will begin to feel a renewed sense of peace, joy, and wonderment for life. Give thanks for the wondrous blessings you are receiving. All right, so just to kind of bookmark that healing, creativity, energy, calmness, grounding, and stability. I like it. I get that lovely carnelian feel. Lovely, lovely stone. Uh, let's get your element of air there, because that kind of works with harvest, but fire needs air. Air does not need fire, but fire needs air. Uh, the healing uh, with the angel's oracle. Angel, healing with the angel's oracle. Uh, the angels have to be invited in. They don't do, you know, they don't cross boundaries. You have to think about it, right? Element of air, read about it, say a prayer, meditate, chant, do something. Uh, let's see who's waiting to work with you. Please take a nice deep breath. 
Hmm. Here we go. As I call upon the angels and archangels of water, the sign of Pisces, uh, powers of the West, the Gabrielite legions, please. Who are the angels waiting in the wings? The water wings for the Piscean Collective. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, I'm watching this video, receiving this reading, just waiting for them to make the call uh, to help them heal on the level of thought, on the level of mind, the element of air to stoke the fire of harvest, grounding it with that carnelian, that energy, that creativity, that uh, healing, that groundedness, that protection, and that stability. This... Uh, New to full, January 2021. Excellent divine timing. The healing angels of divine timing have been extremely helpful for me emotionally uh, uh, since the pandemic began. Like, I thought I'd be traveling and teaching this year. Sorry, Delta, Delta, Delta didn't help you, help you, help you. So, uh, you know, what would they do? They'd be like, these are the ones that say, sweetheart, everything in divine timing. Don't push the river because you're only going to burn yourself out. And I did, which is why I made the jump to Patreon, by the way. So it was a journey. It was all perfectly timed. Now, when we get what we want... Uh, we think we did it. And when we get what we need, but it's not what we want, we think we did something wrong. No, that's all a mental game we play. I highly recommend looking into quantum mechanics and the multi-world or the multiverse uh, theories of things. You get that it's all scripted. It's a video game. It's all programmed in. We are eternal beings, meaning outside of time, that come into a linear timeline just like a video game. You can't, like, create code in a video game as you're playing. Unless, of course, you're doing the coding for the game. You know, it, please, I don't understand that stuff. I'm 53. Yes, I know I don't look at things. I've done that in a while. So what a great angel to call him home, particularly if you're waiting for a harvest. This makes sense. This, this makes sense, right? So to really express your emotions, a great thing to do is exactly what this indicates if you're getting frustrated, uh, to cre use creativity, right? And creativity isn't just about the fine or the performing arts. It can be cooking, right? Feng shui your house, right? <laughs> my art form I do every day. This is, divination is my art form. Um, but certainly with the camera and the lights and the makeup and everything else, it, it really gives me a creative outlet as a Pisces. And it serves something, but that's my gig. <laughs> this is what I do. It's really the thing I'm good at, you know. <laughs> I don't even want to know what would have happened if I became a lawyer. <laughs> my family are like all lawyers. So uh, let's get your element of water. I know I'd be a scary fucking lawyer. Uh, intuitive lawyer. <laughs> Sounds like a bad HBO Max show. Okay, so uh, let's get your element of water. This is your element, right? The emotion that puts the energy in motion for the spell. The voices of the higher selves. The whispers of love oracle. The party turner. Here we go. <laughs> let's see what this is about. Breathe. Dive deep. And soar high. As I call upon the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above, what is the whisper of love for the Piscean Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign watching this video, receiving this reading, their element of water, the energy in motion, right? The thing that kind of gives the spell work, the intention work, its juice, how they can know their vibration in a given moment casting for their heart's desire to harvest, right, with this carnelian, really getting more of that stability and that creativity, but yet a healing, calm and peace and blessings coming into them as a result of them working with the healing angels of divine timing. I mean, that's a big thing. That's like a nervous system relaxer, the self-induced stress we put on ourselves because of what we think is the right timing. So please, what's the element of water, piece of information, inspiration, insight most needed by the fishy poos, this new to full? You guys got the same one as Aquarius did, just did this one a couple of hours ago. The only thing that is real is love. 
shift your focus from the problem back to love. And if the problem is, where the hell is it, <laughs> right, with that divine card, timing card, to go with that calm, to be like, you know what, the only thing that matters is real, uh, the only thing that matters is love, the only thing that's real is love, that's very uh, pure non-dualist talk there, and I'm down for that. I'm a, I'm a, a polytheistic non-dualistic which figure it out I can't um, but it does make sense for a water sign to just like get back into love now I will say to that that doesn't mean you have to bypass uncomfortable emotions it can say use your creativity to express those emotions because that's a way of giving yourself more love not less don't burn down the village don't sink Atlantis, right? You don't have to be full-on water sign tsunami and drown everybody either. You can express that stuff in a healthy way while you're waiting for your harvest to come in, right? Um, because it, you're being given time to do this. It's not that you... All right, this phrase I use all the time, it can be delayed but not prevented, but, you you know, do you want to delay it? It's so much better to go with the flow, right? The, to go upstream rather than down. Abraham Hicks, The Dynamic Power of Emotions or something like that. It was a great book. All right, Element of Spirit. Uh, so, yeah, using your emotional intuition on this is going to, you know, am I in the flow or not? Usually you can tell who's leading. Like dolphin or shark, right? Guppy or barracuda. So this would be what you charge the spell with. The healing mantra from the Metcon healing mantra deck, right? So grab carnelian or something similar, cast for harvest with the angels of divine timing, really getting that the only thing that really is real here is love. This is what you charge the thing with. Uh, do the mantra, and then you can do the mantra with the stone every day for two weeks. Please take a nice deep breath. Mm, last card down, not just for this reading, but of the series, as I call upon my beloved Ascended Masters General Assembly, because this harvest could be about anything in a general read, like this wide open. So please, what is the perfect healing mantra, the spirit card for the Piscean Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, I'm watching this video, receiving this reading, casting for harvest with carnelian, uh, healing angels of divine timing, and emotionally tuning to the truth that the only thing that is, that is real is love here, the mantra that will carry them through, help them wax this wisely and well this new to full January 2022 encountering conflict I don't choose sides I take a stand now I get why this is here and I'm going to read it from the bookie book but this is about interacting with other people um traveling you know I don't travel that much pandemic uh but I certainly went uh to go visit my family and if you know who Ram Das is God I think God rest his soul I think he crossed a couple of years ago um uh he said if you think you're enlightened go home and spend two weeks with your family well I spent a week with my family and we had a lovely time <laughs> But that doesn't mean everybody's opinion that crossed my path I was on board with. This mantra helps. And not just family, like just people in general, right? I don't choose sides. I take a stand. So there is a conflict that may be going on here that's making you a little antsy-antsy, which is why you need uh, antsy in the pantsy, a little carnelian there. And to get that, if what you want feels good when you conceive it, when you think about it, when you create it and put it into your art, then it's on its way, right? You don't have to feel good all the time to do that, but when you are encountering conflict, like maybe talking to people about what you want, particularly, oh, this phrase rings so true, the toxicity of the well-meaning, right? The people who love you but want you to be safe don't want you to take that risk. <laughs> Sorry, you think there's a kitty cat coughing up a hairball somewhere in the room. Sorry about that. Motherhood. It just never ends. Uh, let me get you to hear what Matt Kahn has to say. Encountering conflict. I don't choose... I don't choose sides. <laughs> I take a stand, mama ears. Um, when conflict is encountered, two opposing viewpoints wrestle for a dominant position. <laughs> Have you noticed? Uh, each hopes to achieve success by changing the other's viewpoint. 
I'm the irresistible force, not the immovable object. Good luck. Uh, if encountering conflict from a conscious standpoint, you may realize one of the greatest gifts you can offer is allowing others to be heard. And that's what throws them off their game if they're coming for you, right? You just sit there and you kind of... Right? Like, do that. The, the video didn't freeze. You just kind of, like, give them your attention and you really hear them it goes into it. Um, you may not agree with their argument, but you are embracing their needs simply by choosing to listen. Uh, when you listen, instead of lash out, you are taking a stand for love. The only thing that is real is love. Uh, this is making the decision to anchor higher frequencies of uh, light through the demonstration of your ethics, morals, and values instead of matching the unconsciousness <laughs> of others with equal mounts of aggression, right? <laughs> like an arms race verbally, right? Yeah, and, and now that the holidays are beyond us, like to now say, welcome to 2022, like you didn't have to deal with family, but it can even be someone on the TV that's like, you know, push, tap dancing on your last nerve kicking your buttons, let alone push them, right? It's like, well, there's a soul in there somewhere who was chosen to come in and play this game just like I was, just because we don't agree. I can take a stand for love. Somewhere in there, somewhere in there is a divine being, right? And you're Pisces, and that's the thing. When you just sort of do this, and you don't do so much of this, but you do this, you can feel what's going on there, right? Empathy. In other words, I, I'm actually doing a class on my Facebook page. Uh, yeah, oh my God, this week coming up on empathy. Uh, Path of True Love, Thursday nights, Drawing the Circles Facebook page. Check it out. Uh, this mantra is ideal for settling arguments, unraveling passive aggressive behavior, which is what we usually do. It's like, no, go ahead, tell me. I can't wait to hear, right? And you're just waiting to rip their eyes out verbally <laughs> or chew their face off, you sharks. Uh, uh, and releasing the tendency to blame. To blame. <laughs> to blame. This makes sense. Hang in there. You might be getting some friction and conflict from people while you're waiting for something to happen. But I'll tell you, if it's something that's lighting you up that you want to harvest, that's just not their gig. It's yours, you know? So what are you going to do? You uh, don't have to choose sides. You can take a stand. Let me give you the blessing. This should be a hot one. Breathe. Mm, as I call upon my collective pantheons of the divine and the collective pantheons for the Piscean collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, watching this video, receiving this reading. May they be blessed with all that they need this new moon to full, January 2022, that they, when they encounter conflicts, that they remember they don't have to choose sides. They take a stand, and that stand is that uh, the only thing that is that is real is love. Uh, so that they can shift their focum to the problem of the conflict uh, back uh, to love. A return to love. Great book by Marianne Williamson, by the way. Uh, and to get with the healing angels. They call in the healing angels of divine timing. They're going to get, oh, this is just something i got to go through to get to where I want to get going so that they can work that carnelian energy of calm and stable and creativity and healing. Uh, but also that they are grounded and protected as they do this so they can manifest the harvest of whatever their heart's desires are. For as the waves of the ocean are infinite and the trees in the forest grow tall, let their work now bring them to harvest. They are ready to receive their all for the well-being of all, and with harm to none, as we will it, so let it be done, so would it be, and so it is, yeah, good, I mean, worth it, right, worth it, better than getting into shark fights, you know, because then you got to find the jets, and the sharks, and now Spielberg's involved, and what are you going to do? So did you like it? Please like it. Help the other mer people find the video you want more of me. Subscribe. Feel like commenting? Please do. And if you want to come play with me, come play Patreon on Patreon, drawing, uh, patreon.com backslash drawing the circle productions and honor. So
serving you, working you, my beloved Mer people, Mer, wishing you the very best and the very blessed, not just of this new Tufo, but this new year. Happy New Year. Really good series. Started doing them in Saratoga, visiting my family, finished them up a day before it actually happened. So I love you. And uh, I don't know, go deep and remember to surf my fish family. Hell, <laughs> farewell. And blessed, blessed be.